It's a scene played out across the country as CPSA members compete in registered shoots. Here at Oak Edge Shooting Ground in Staffordshire, manager Paul Hodson is holding his breath. After spending the last four days working on the layout, the wind has picked up dramatically. We set the course to what we think is a fair enough ability for all classes. Obviously, today is, is a perfect example. You set a course during the week when there's absolutely no wind, and then on the day of the shoot, you have to adjust all the targets because of wind direction, wind speed. Today, it's blowing probably a 20 mile an hour wind, which is having a serious effect on the flight of the carrier. So I have to readjust things on, on, on the morning of the shoot. I was walking the shooting ground this morning at four o'clock, thinking about changing angles thinking about changing where I put targets, purely and simply to stay within the boundaries of the wind and the limitation. Trying to get everybody a fair bird, so every bird is a consistent bird. Paul has only been here for nine months and he's made some significant changes, such as the automated trap system. It's a ground he's known all his life and the Parkland setting offers him the chance to show some very nice birds, thanks to the valleys that run through it. We have a lot of high birds here, uh, a lot of guys like high birds. Uh, I am thinking of hosting a, an extreme distance challenge in the summer. We had a guy who Brim Woodward is here today. Uh, he shot a bird on the compact from the middle of the car park. He measured it out around about 90 metres and I reckon he could shoot it even further. And he was using 24 gun cartridges for that. So it just goes to show, you know, if, if you can find the targets, everything is hittable, it's just finding them. As Mr Digweed is, is always telling us, if, if you can see them, you can hit them. How difficult is the crowd to please? They're, they're a tricky bunch, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, you're never going to please everybody all the time. So it, it's, it's pleasing the masses. Most half-proficient shooters want to improve. They want to see challenging targets and different presentations. And at uh, the end of the day, you know, you can only do your best. And that's, that's what we try to do. And yourself, how did you today? Uh, fairly steady. I had a, a few stands that, that were pretty disastrous and that, but I think it was, it was around about 80 I put in, which is a slightly below par, but in these conditions and, and this wind blowing, you know, it's, it's blowing 30 odd mile an hour. Um, it, it, it's half decent. Have you heard people talking about the shoot today? Have you, have you been eavesdropping? Yeah, that's a problem. It's been a bit distracting really. I haven't been watching many targets. I've been listening to what everybody's saying and the feedback generally has been really, really good. They love the variety. Yes, the conditions have made it slightly more difficult than probably would have could have been, um, but they just love the targets and love the variety on offer. Paul may have the topography, but a dark background means he uses a lot of coloured clays. Not ideal for this very beautiful part of the country, but it's just another consideration for course setters. As is what targets to produce. It can cause sleepless nights, but sometimes it helps to get a little creative. I like my bolting fox, which is a, a fox that comes out from under the tower, so it comes out from under your feet and it's chasing a rabbit. So you've got the fox coming out and you send the rabbit at the same time, it looks like the fox is chasing the rabbit and you're going, which one do you shoot? The other target that we have on is uh, we've got a squirrel. Now the squirrel wasn't my idea, it was somebody else's idea and a brilliant idea it is too. We've got a telegraph pole that's been extended with a ladder and it has a crossbar on the top of it. Uh, the idea is you put a Shondell trap underneath the, the telegraph pole and you send a vertical clay straight up in the air and you have to shoot it before it reaches the crossbar. Again, that's one of those challenging targets, you can't put it on as a regular foot shoot, but for a practice shoot or it may be a pool shoot, that was something that we could look forward to. For more information about Oak Edge Shooting Ground, its competition shoots and corporate entertainment it has to offer, go to oakedgeshootingground.co.uk.